Hi and welcome to this first area in the course Success Without Stress which is external communication. So just as a brief overview of the lessons below, what we're going to be covering is the following. The first lesson that we're going to cover is building rapport. So this is really creating that good vibe between people and a lot of it can be done with body language rather than necessarily the, the conversation that we actually use. You can actually start building rapport even before you go up and say hello to someone. The next area is to make the conversation more engaging. What to talk about and how to talk to really get a, a little bit of, of uh, interest in the conversation between you and the other person. So that those conversations are memorable and they're worthwhile conversations to have. Now, the third area is actually starting to learn about body positions and how to enhance your message. Because so much conversation is done through our body language, understanding the body postures and how, how they impact on your conversation is a great piece of knowledge to have. And you can use those body postures to actually enhance what you're trying to get across. The fourth area is how to direct a conversation, how to turn a conversation away from one area and into another area, and also how to reach agreement, how to get parties to agree with each other to specifically make a conversation run in a certain way to end up with agreement. Then there are more advanced lessons in NLP. So we have a series of more advanced level lessons that actually take some of these same lessons and look at them more deeply as well as other techniques which are fairly advanced and you can go into more detail on those. And then finally we have some special areas you can see on the right hand side a couple of areas to do with business and education which also have external communication techniques which you'll find useful to practice if you're in business or you're trying to learn. So that's a wrap up. I look forward to speaking to you in the first lesson.